So this is about Granny Clegg? Well, who else do you think I've been talking about? Yeah, she's got up in the night, tripped over a walking stick and fractured her hip, so it seems. I mean, normally, Lisa would take the call, but, uh, well, she's in Scotland, so her bells had to fly out to the rescue. Well, why can you go? Oh, <laughs> well, uh, me and Granny Clegg, well, we've never seen eye to eye, but, but she adores Belle. She's like a, a granddaughter to her. How long is she going to be gone? A good few weeks, I reckon. That's why she was anxious to get hold of you. Well, I'll, I'll call her. Well, I mean, don't put yourself out. What? Poor Belle has been summoned to Granny Clegg in the dead of night. You were nowhere to be seen, and now you're saying that you might get in touch, uh, well, if you can get round to it. <laughs> I don't want to disturb her, do I? She'll be at hospital. Are you and Belle all right? Yeah, of course. So why did you stay out all night? She was dead upset that you weren't here to wave her off. Well, I've been worried about the business. You know, we need to up our game. If you were messing her about... I love her, you know that. You better add. You seem like a decent enough lad, but... I'm warning you, if you ever do any harm to her, I'll be down on you like a ton of bricks. <laughs>